continue with custom strokes and modifying them I'm gonna switch over to the pencil tool and the pencil tool basically draws a stroke based on this color and these parameters now I can write out just about anything J right uh, I am hey there's my name kinda wiggly at the end anyway when you do this when you use this it's honestly much easier to make these paths using a uh, digital pen and tablet but you can do these with a mouse what we've already figured out is that you can adjust these paths right on the fly using this width tool right you can make them thicker and thinner and stuff like that and that's cool and all I'm gonna undo that and we've also noticed that you can save our profiles here but you know what there's even more if you click on this word basic here you're gonna see that there are a lot more types of paths that you can create these can also be saved and when you uh, click on them it's gonna be pretty cool let's choose one of these paths first I'm gonna use my black arrow tool to select my J and right now it's on basic I'm gonna switch it to chalk and then click off of it and you can see wow what did it do And that's chalk uh, let's click on it again and let's switch down to one of these other ones yeah I don't know what that is it's like this frilly thing on the end of a line might come in handy someday let's click on it again and we're kind of running out um, try this one this one's a brush stroke yeah that looks kinda of like a brush stroke let's take a look at that ooh nice but it's really not brush stroke is it it's actually a bunch of vector paths on top of each other but it ends up looking like a brush stroke neat interesting let's see what this one is oh wait I have to click on it don't forget to do that so use my black arrow click on it let's change that to the bottom one I guess you could use that to make a certificate I don't know reminds me of a certificate anyway but these aren't the only ones that are in this list okay what you can do is click this little uh, arrow here with the, the little lines and if you move down you can open up a brush library now these brush libraries come in um, after I'm um, in Illustrator here and you can jump into all sorts of ones one of my favorite ones is artistic when you go to artistic you come up with artistic calligraphic charcoal pencil all these different ones I'm gonna do artistic ink because it's my favorite and what happens is it pops up a different panel now this panel can be docked just like anything else you can you can move it you know like down here and then it'll pop out whenever you need it um, you don't have to do that uh, you can uh, do splatters there's some splatters you want some good splatters no problem you can and now it splatters along a path. I think that's kind of funny. You can also just choose one of these. Check out that one. Classic, nice pen stroke, right? Some of these other ones might be lighter. Okay, it's not a big deal if it's the wrong color. We can always go back and change it. I know it's supposed to be black, but it's doing a lighter version of that, if you will. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, that one. Nice. You know, so when you take a look at these, you're gonna see that there are all these different ways to create. Um, vector paths. Now these things just like the other strokes we had under here you also get the ability to change these la after the fact. I can go back with my arrow here and I don't like the way this is ending up here at the top. I'm gonna make that a smoother shape there and look now it's a smoother shape. So you can change it after the fact. So it doesn't really matter what you do at the beginning it's what you do at the end. Okay so here's what I want you to do on this assignment I don't want you to just write your name that's kinda of silly instead I want you to um, try out a lot of these different libraries and there's so many more that you can bring up they don't come up here but they do come up at that back at that original place you can do open brush library and you can br come up with all these other ones let's try grunge brushes vector pack Ooh, neat so I can take uh, this I am here right and I can make it look really crazy yeah wow it's like a 
Meteor. Who would have thought my signature was a meteor? Anyway, so here's what I want you to do. Play around with a lot of these different ones. See what you can um, come up with and just see what the default set of brushes in this amazing program are.